Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We got a quick cool video for you guys today. So what we got are these camera lenses here. These are computar, not computer, uh, TV lenses. Now these are what we have set up on our high speed camera. This one here, when you shake it, rattles really bad. So I got a couple new ones, well a couple used ones, another one to shoot, and we're definitely shooting this one because this one has caused us all kinds of problems. So what we're going to do for y'all today, we bumped up our high speed camera. Now we have the Kronos 1.4, not the Phantom. So we got about 8,000 frames per second going on on this one. So that's pretty quick. But what we're going to do with this camera lens first is we got these rounds here. This is Armor Pearson 308 round. We're going to shoot this one, see if two of these babies will go through, maybe one. Justin's got the uh, 308 zeroed in. And then we're going to try, on this other lens right here, we're going to try the armor piercing incendiary rounds, because everybody likes a fireball. So um, that's all we got for you. Let's get this rolling. All right, first armor piercing round. We're about three to 1,800 meters away. Realistically, about 18 feet. but. Close enough in the ballpark. All right. Clear. All right, that was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't expect it to go through in one shot. And the reason is, if you watch this video here, we shot some rifle scopes now. Granted, they're 15 inches long. They have about five pieces of glass in them. I'm not sure how much was in these, but if you check this out, he blew right through it. And then it kind of ricocheted here, blew the back off, and uh, came out of our little holder right here. And then we've been looking for the back piece that screws into the uh, camera. And uh, Justin, he found it up there on the hill. <laughs> All right. I also found a brand new pre owned shooting play. <laughs> But it, the last lens actually saved it. No kidding. Didn't make sure because it deflected so much. Oh, wow. So there you go. There's what was screwed together into the other lens, and there's the hole where the armor piercing um, projectile came right through. So you never know. Maybe your uh, camera can save you from a 308 armor piercing round. I don't know. Well, next we're going to try out the armor piercing incendiary rounds. I'm really excited to do that one, but we're not going to shoot it up here in the forest. We're going to go out to the range. So here we go. Okay. All right, we're back out at Justin's range. We've got the other lens set up here. We're going to put this piece of plexiglass here behind it to uh, try to get some more effect there from the cameras and see what happens to that. We got the armor piercing incendiary rounds set up, so let's do it. All right, now we're ready to do the uh, API round. See if I can get the damn mag in. Oh yeah, I always forget, they're too long.
So who doesn't like an API round? So you saw on the high speed camera, that was at about 8,800 frames per second. It blew right through the lens. This time, instead of coming out um, halfway here and coming out where this bracket did on the last shot, this one still blew the backside of the uh, lens off and did exit again up here, but it did also blow out the back of the lens. So it took out, this one took out every piece of glass and then this part of the lens actually knocked the uh, plexiglass over and hit up over here. So, well there you go. So a, uh, a camera lens is not going to save your life from an API round, 308. So hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. It's a short, quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back.